Wow, thank you guys for being here. Um, I love that, um, I love talking to you both. You're some of my favorite people in the world and it's been so fun procreating with you and dreaming up shadows and light together. And we're gonna be talking about reclaiming your shadow. And I'm here with Monique Darling and Peter Peterson from Everyday Tantra. And I'm Kathy Mertulli from TheIntimacyDojo.com. And Monique, I want, to, I want all of us to share, but I want to start with you. Why do you think reclaiming your shadow is important? Like, why do we bother? We just push it aside, leave it alone. Why do we? Why are we digging into this? The things we don't want to look at. Because first of all, whenever we're trying to push any of those parts behind us, they're way too big. And so guess what? The only person that you're hiding it from is yourself. <laughs> and if you're not willing to take a vulnerable look in the mirror of what's really happening, then it doesn't mean that nobody else can see it. So so my people are like, no, but if they see that, they won't love me. Guess what? They see you already and they love you anyway. <laughs> so just throw the, any idea that you can hide anything, just throw it away because it's just impossible. And then the second piece is when you're shoving things down, that is the when they have the opportunity to be able to come up and bite you in the ass. Like then when the stuff is being pushed away, then it pretty it's like we all have these parts. And if you're not acknowledging them and you're not befriending them, then they're going to show up. And that's when it turns into uh, like people of abuse and you turn into a predator and you turn into all of these things that you don't want to be. You turn into major raging bitch because you're like, I'm not a bitch. Well, guess what? All those bitchy pieces are waiting and here they're going to come and jump jump in and grab you when you least expect it. So when you actually start owning those shadow pieces, then they don't own you. Yeah, thank you so much. I love that one. Peter, do you want to share your thoughts on this? Like, why would, why do you think it's important to reclaim those parts of you? Uh, they're blind spots. They're parts of you that are unbeknownst and shoved down as Monique says, and they can come out in the most wily, uh, acrobatic, really shitty ways that can hurt other people sometimes on purpose and sometimes you know just up by accident and i think it's the more you're in control and the more you're aware of your blind spots the more you can tailor your behavior to be in harmony with other people if you're you know you're you got these blind spots and you're not really um aware of your awareness of how you're treating people you're like a bull in a china shop just knocking shit over and you know, hurting people's feelings. And, you know, people get tired of bulls in China shops. They get tired of being around people who are not friendly with their feelings. And so if you want to keep friends and you want to have your family members want to call you back for Thanksgiving dinner, then stop being the bull. Stop being the bull and start being aware of your shadow and what's going on. Can I, yeah. can I yeah. share a quick story, Kathy? Please. So, one of the, the places where this really touched me deeply is when I started doing bikini work and doing like sacred sexuality work when I was like 13 years ago. Then the biggest thing is I'm like, I will never see a married man. I will never see a priest. Like anyone that comes to me in their life, they, they're out the door. And, but, and I kept that, like that was integrity for me. And then four years into the practice, I actually had a priest come see me. And I like felt into my being and it was like, no, that like this is your opportunity to be able to really show up for this human. And I went through a whole hour session and he was able to share. Like by that time I'd been able to open up my acceptance and willingness to just be with someone where they're at. So he was able to share these different fantasies and things that he was thinking about doing. And he was able to go get help instead of actually doing that to, to other people. And so it's just like there's so many instances that if you're able to hold space for someone's shadow, then they don't actually have to go act in their yeah, no, I love that. And I think a lot of people are not, a lot of us are not at the stage where we're going to overtly abuse someone else, but there, there's struggles we have and we're maybe manipulating or trying to control because we don't know any, any better way. A lot of us learn the, the, we got our shadows when we were very little. Our parents, our teachers didn't know how to handle these emotions and these things. All these little traumas, we didn't know what to do with them. So we kind of packed them down in our bodies. And we kind of go on with our lives. And I think of it as, my analogy is, every time you get one, it's either a rock or sometimes a cinder block or sometimes a big boulder that we have a rope attached to us. And we're trying to move forward, dragging this, pretending it's not there and wondering why is it so hard? Why is life so heavy? And we're just using so much subconscious energy to hold these things down, using the analogy of holding a beach ball underwater. 
um, it's like it takes a lot of effort. And even if you're trying to ignore it, there's part of you always paying attention to it. And it just sucks so much energy. So if you feel like you have some shadows, it doesn't mean you did anything wrong. You're probably a little kid or even if it happened last week, it's like, I literally don't know how to deal with that. And there's nothing, that's nothing to be ashamed of, even though many of us feel ashamed. What's shameful is when we don't, we have options to learn it. Because when I was a kid, the internet didn't exist. There weren't books about this. Like, I didn't know where to go and get help. But now we pulled together some of the, like, we have such a beautiful list, like the, the, the names and the, the topics that they're diving into are so juicy and so deli I so wish I had this even a few years ago. Um, and they'll give you ways to walk through that. And one of the things I love the most is when we see like Monique and Peter, you sharing about it. And when we see other people, our survival brain is holding on because it thinks it's the only way to do it. And it's really hard to heal this by yourself. Because when you're trying to heal it by yourself, your survival brain is like, no, 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 I've had 10 or 20 or 40 or 100 years of practice. I'm going to just hold on really tight. But when we see other people in our group opening up and, and warming up, then all of a sudden our survival brain goes like, oh, those people did it. Maybe it's okay for me. And we start teaching our body how to release this and reclaim ourselves. And I think that's just what a gift to give ourselves in the world to be able to walk through and not feel so scared and so tired. And so like, I've got to grab this or force this to make this so that I might survive. You know, our presenter today, Lawrence Lanoff had uh, a keen insight. He talked about how when clients come to him, they say, Oh, I thought I handled, I, I thought I've handled this. I thought I'm over this. And that's, that's a part of our personality and part of our shadow that it exists. And we so often try to like push it underneath the desk or the blanket or, or bury it underneath some sand and just kind of pretend it doesn't exist. We're, but we've transcended that, Peter. Right. I mean, people, people delude themselves and like, oh, I've transcended and I'm all right and blah, blah, blah. But it's there. And yeah, I you're making the Extraordinary Facilitator is intensive right now, which is so amazing. I'm, I'm teaching tomorrow. Um, and it's what a beautiful, that ends, and then we're starting Shadows and Light Festival right after that. So you'll be all geared up. And yeah. I think, like, a lot of times we don't realize we have shadow. By definition, we don't know it's there. It's behind us. And, like, seeing other people release things or having people talk about their own struggles can shine a light on things that we're struggling with. That's one of the reasons I love that we're bringing so many amazing people together from all of, it's literally running 24 seven because we have people from all over the world. And you might hear Monique talk about something that like, oh my God, I didn't even realize that. And all of a sudden you have a conscious grasp on it and you can start healing it versus it just kind of murking around in the background, making your energy heavy. Well, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like trying to get rid of your ego. You know, there's like, oh, kill your ego, kill your ego. It's like, well, the ego's a part of you. Like, why would you want to kill it? Just like your shadow. Why would you want to kill your shadow? Befriend it. Befriend it so you can work together. <laughs> right. When you befriend your shadow, you befriend your ego, you become an integrated person that can respond in a way that I feel like is just so much more level-headed, kind, like kinder. You have, you have compassion. If you're if you're like totally dissuading yourself that those things don't exist, they come out in the weirdest ways. Oh, they and do it, they, sideways. Right. You least expect it. Right. Because it's so much pressure. Like if you think about the analogy Kathy's talking about, and you spend all this time and energy holding down that beach ball, the beach ball eventually comes up and it usually splashes out like half the water of the swimming pool. And so that's the same with your shadow is you're holding, you're holding, you're holding. Eventually you can't hold it anymore. And it's this, it's this big volcano all over everybody. <laughs> and you, you don't want that all over everybody. So if you just slowly start looking at it and start making friends and level by level, then it gets to start coming up slowly. Then you're able to be more like aware of how you're interacting with and engaging with the world and especially those closest to you. Uh, yeah, I love that. And I think that we can step more fully in our light when we start releasing shadow. Years ago, and I still I still regret this, I'd written this really, I'm an, a PhD engineer and I love researching things. I had written this really amazing paper and one of the people, my advisors had recommended me that I send it to this very prestigious publication. I felt very insecure and I didn't, I felt like my, my who am I to do this came up really hard. 
and it was really funny and I never submitted it. I kept losing it. I couldn't find it on my computer. Um, and then the deadline for the submission passed and I met like years later, I'm still like, why didn't I submit? That was such a good paper. And I think we do, we get in our way in little subtle ways when these shadows are lurking and we, it's really hard to step into your, your power. And the more I've cleared, I've cleaned up a lot around abundance and around letting people connect with me. And I just find it where it used to be so hard and I was fighting myself the entire time. All of a sudden, it just like, as I release those things, it's like, oh, this is really easy. It never had to be that hard. And 2020 has been fucking hard for so many of us. We want to help you release as much as you can because we need to make it easier for ourselves. And I really do believe clearing this energy it works for us and it also changes the energy of the, the universe. Like we're just creating openings. And I think if we come together and do that, that's just so powerful. Absolutely. And I think that's a great point, Kathy, too, because it's impossible for you to step fully into your power and your brightest light if you're not willing to own your deepest darkness. Because as long as you think that you're hiding it, then you're continuously going to feel like you're a fraud. Like it's going to come up that if people only knew. And that's where so much of the energy is like, <gasps> No one's looking, right? No one can really see. They can't see that piece. And so if you want to be able to step into the fullness and the greatness of who you are just as you are, you have to be able to find the, the way to befriend and hold those pieces of you. Because then when you're sitting in front of Kathy, or you're sitting in front of your partner, then you can actually feel worthy because they can see you because you're looking at yourself. And I think there's an authenticity that comes from having cleared that. So when I'm pushing those shadows down, it comes off a little creepy because I'm a little bit trying to manipulate. I'm trying to pretend. And whenever we're pretending, we have micro expressions that other people may not be able to consciously be aware of, but they're like, something's a little off. They know that you're pretending and that you're hiding because you're hiding from yourself often too. But it, people, it's not easy for people to be around you. They know something is off. And as you start clearing these out and, and opening up, people are just like, oh, that person's just easy. My, my body, my system just relaxes around them. And that's a beautiful thing, too, as a gift to yourself and to other people. Agreed. So if you're listening and you're like, I must be part of this. So we're good. Kathy's going to put the link in the comments. And it happens uh, September 24th through the 27th. Again, it's all time zones. And in case that you miss one or two, because there's no way that any human being can watch for four days straight, then we're going to have the recordings for 30 days. And so we'd love for you to join us. It's very inexpensive. And they're like, Kathy had said, then we have, what, 39 or 40? How many facilitators from around the world, Kathy? We have 52 facilitators from around the world. And our, we had a dream list, and we got, I think we got all, there's one or two that were just not available, but people love this topic. And so people were like, this is our wish list. And they're like, yes, we'd like to be part of it. We're like, this is so cool. So, we have a waiting list. We had to tell a bunch of people no. So. We have 52 of the most amazing facilitators on the planet, bringing you their tips and skills and tools of being able to befriend that shadow, those shadow pieces and to more fully step into your brightness. So we want that for you so badly. Us. Yeah, please join us. Links are there. Um, Monique and Peter and I will be organizing. We have some amazing speakers and we want you there. If you, you feel drawn, we'd really love you there. So thank you, Monique and Peter. I know you have to get back to the intensive, but thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you, Kathy. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Love you.